Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Nanny Phantom and we are here again with week 3 of TBA and of course uh, my, my teammate for this league is Jay Ricky and here's, he, he's here with me today. Say what's up Ricky. Yo, what's up everybody? <laughs> As you all already know, uh, this is week 3. I'm not ha gonna have to explain much about this league but it's the team league with me and Ricky and uh, yeah, uh, if you guys did not check out the first two weeks, make sure to click the link in the description for the playlist. Uh, check those two out. I would say check it out now because uh, we always end up talking about it so we don't want to spoil it for you so I'll give you guys time right now. Just go check that out and um, we can get into this one. Um, so right now we are 1-1 one one, which is pretty pretty good. I, I, think, I think last week was a pretty good showing um but let, let's let's get into this team builder but before that just make sure you guys do leave a nice like and subscribe if you are new um all the love is appreciated you know ricky even ricky feels the love on that other side too of course <laughs> i do <laughs> all right so um guys we are going up against what was their name santa face superiors right that's Santa's it face. yeah perfect awesome cool so i'm gonna read out the team really quick on their side um so they have a possibility of bringing espion leopard leopard <laughs> comfy vocorona yeah. porygon z go bat mammal swine drake zolt egg slash trevenant and arctivish um that's the uh, the month that they can bring um and of course we're gonna go through our team builder really quick hopefully 10 minutes um just to to let you guys know what exactly we're thinking of so uh, i'm gonna let i'm gonna let ricky start off with this one and the first one up is our shifu all right let's let's get into it so um we're gonna bring your shifu pretty much every week and uh this week we decided to just bring choice bandage or shifu because um just like any other team he doesn't really have a switch in but because of the speed tiers i think that a bandit or shifu is a little bit better than it was in the previous matchups so we're just going ahead and we're going to run wicked blow close combat facade u-turn uh, we have enough speed to outspeed a max speed timid uh porygon z which can be a little bit of a threat um most of the time we're just going to click wicked blow uh close combat maybe um facade is mainly there because he has a volcarona with flame body in case he switches it in and we get burnt then or shifu mm -hmm. won't be completely useless and then u-turn is just uh you know u-turn things you were gonna force switches and if we don't feel like clicking a wicked blow we'll click u-turn we'll get momentum and we'll go on from there yeah i agree um u-turn's really nice because we could see comfy coming in and things like that um but yeah this thing's gonna bring good momentum and break stuff which is gonna be pretty pretty useful um yeah so, it's gonna be uh -huh. it's gonna be a very important pair for the next one that we're gonna go over yeah hopefully we have the same mods in order here yeah we should <laughs> um, yeah, yeah okay cool so <laughs> next up is celesteela guys so this time not yeah this time we're not bringing leech seed substitute okay you know a little bit different we're actually going yeah. a lot more offensive of a celesteela um as you see um uh, we do have an aqua berry and ricky is the one that really brought that up um he said we should stick an aqua berry on celesteela because it would really help us set up against the volcarona uh we could hit it with a rock slide kill that thing and then our our attack will go up plus one because of beast boost um so th this set was is really cool i really like this one um autonomize heavy slam rock slide earthquake again celesteela is really cool because of its ability so like we can literally set up speed get one kill and we're setting up our attack along the way uh which i think that if you look at his team there's really nothing that wants to take this thing on as soon as we chip away at the the Aegis slash the mammal swine or we even get a plus one plus two uh this thing is just yeah. gonna go ham even like on poor uh, obviously like porygod z is gonna die uh volcarona is gonna die almost everything's gonna die so like ricky said um our shifu is leading up to this pokemon because we can get u-turn get momentum uh we can u-turn on a comfy easily start setting up um uh, we yeah. can just you turn around and come into this thing and then start wrecking the team But our Shifu is gonna be really good to kind of chip away at the opponent's team in order for Celesteela to come in get one one atomized one kill and then from there just keep rolling on and getting everything <laughs> yeah it's really hard for them to stop this if we can get it going with like the snowball effect with the yeah, beach boost exactly. and if we start it going it's going to be really hard just worth mentioning something that we we are max speed jolly yeah. um which means we will outspeed a volcarona that's outspeeding a max speed or shifu even if it's at plus one so if yeah. they do their speed creeping it should work if they just run 252 sets we may be a little bit screwed, but um, <laughs> there isn't really much that we could do at that point anyway. So we just decided to, you know, just make the best out of, of what we can control. 
Yeah, definitely. And either way, like we get an atomized up before Volcarona is even in. That that doesn't even yeah. really matter anymore at that exactly, point. So, exactly. So, um, yeah, that's that's some good EVs there for just to be able to help us out. Um, but next yeah. up, we do have our Water Wall Vaporeon. Well, what's going on, Vaporeon, Ricky? Um, so Vaporeon is mainly there just to be able to switch into Mamoswine, uh, because like Mamoswine does a big number to our team. So just mm -hmm. having like a physical wall that can like switch in and somewhat take hits or just serve some sort of as a, as a pivot, that would be fantastic. It can also take out, take on the age slash if it's, um, physically offensive. Main purpose though is definitely for the Mamoswine. I mean, there's nothing really fancy about, um, Vaporeon. We have Scald because Scald is spammable. We have Roar just in case Volcarona wants to set up on us. Uh, we didn't think it would be worth bringing Flip Turn. Roar is a little bit better. Uh, and then just the standard Wish Protects, which can just, we can stay alive and we can keep other things on our on our team alive. So yeah, that's Vaporeon. Pretty straightforward, but mm -hmm. it's actually going to be pretty important if he does end up bringing the Mamoswine. Yeah, for sure. Uh, again, like just straightforward mom, but we really need it. Um, if we can get rid of Mamoswine early, that'd be nice because this thing will be freed up a little bit more to pass around yeah. Wishes. Um, but yeah, it's important, super important for that mammal spawn, which could be really scary. Um, so next up, we do have Azelf. So Azelf, we are bringing this week Focus Sash. As we just talked about, mammal spawn is a pretty big threat against our team. Um, so we do want to have something that can maybe start off uh, in the first turn as a lead with a Focus Sash uh, Grass Knot. We used to have rocks on it, but we did change it because um, you're going to see there's rocks on, on Nidoqueen. So we have just four attacks yeah. to really be able to pressure his team um, me and ricky were you know doing a lot of good uh like scouting for this match and we've noticed that he started off with mammoth sign one week and put up rocks um so it's gonna be pretty nice if we can if we can start off with this thing and he starts off memo and we get a grass knot off and either kill it or put it to its sash and um, then then it, celestilish is gonna have an amazing day um and and vaporeon again will get freed up and we don't have to worry about yeah. having to keep Vaporeon healthy uh, and maybe possibly pass around wishes to other things so I think it's going to be very key that first turn and he also they also may start off with uh, Leopard so starting off with this thing Dazzling Gleam should be pretty nice too and they like oh, to run Life Orb on Leopard yeah it one shots the, the light part because his only yep. rocker is mammal swine so if he looks yeah. at our team and says yo i want to get rocks up like turn one he uh -huh. has to lead off with the mammal swine so yeah. um it's just it's a sort of like a cool tech if it doesn't work out that way with the coverage and the speed that azel has like it naturally out speeds everything on his team yeah. so with the coverage yeah. that adds um still be able to uh to do a decent amount of damage especially if we can keep that sash intact we can just sure. sort of have like a, a fail safe if, if age slash gets out of hand or, or anything like that yeah definitely i like i like i love this this week a lot too um this thing this month's really been showing some cool stuff that i like yeah <laughs> um all right so next up Toga kiss ricky yeah, so Togekiss is mainly here because um, he has a Porygon Z, and like a Choice Scarf to Porygon Z with Tri Attack is somewhat dangerous mm -hmm. to us. Um, it's dangerous to anything because like normal spam is is quite dangerous. Um, so we're just running like a almost full spadef set. Uh, we have a little bit in speed just in case they they are trying to like speed creep our Togekiss. We have twelve just to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, we then have Air Slash and Flamethrower. Flamethrower mainly hits things like the Age Slash. We have Roost to keep ourselves healthy. Thunder Wave, um, not only to speed or to, to slow down things, but Air Slash plus Thunder Wave equals free wins. And then we have the Heavy Duty Boost just because if he does get rocks up, we are not interested in taking rocks damage. Um, but yeah, Togekiss can serve as a switch into like a lot of things on his team. Um, so yeah, even the Volker or anything like that, it takes it out relatively okay. And then we're just going to Air Slash and Thunder Wave to... Um, we kill everything and, and we win that way yeah yeah definitely um the, these t waves can be, uh, be very key as as we all know you know togekiss already can flinch you to death so when it t waves you and there's a chance of you getting parried and now it's faster than you and it can flinch you uh it's, it's just yeah. very very useful for us and the speed control for shifu celestila and things like that even as well um it's going to be very key again we think that uh porygon uh, z could possibly be scarf um, so T waving that thing will be amazing. So I, I like this Togekiss set. It's ready to take it on. Ready to take it on. <laughs> um, yeah. So next up, we are bringing a Nido Queen. So Nido Queen is uh, pretty much here uh, first to set up some nice rocks because any chip on um, pretty much everything <laughs> is gonna be key for Celestila. Again, we're really trying to set this up so Celestila can just set up an Atomize and win. Um, yeah. So rocks is gonna be definitely important. Taunt is gonna be nice. 
uh, because we can taunt things like the gold bat and stop it from defogging or uh, roosting and things like that, keeping it low so Celesteela again can come in and do some damage to it. Um, mm -hmm. Lyopard, I mean <laughs> Lyopard, <laughs> uh, Needle Queen is it's I guess biggest role besides Stealth Rocks is gonna be that Dracozol because Dracozol is pretty scary against our team, um, and this thing can take it on pretty well. Obviously, we're a ground type, so it can't just click Bolt Beak, uh, and we are possibly thinking he may bring like a dual Scarfer. If he doesn't bring Lyopard, I think he'll bring Scarf uh, Dracozol also. Um, so it's gonna yeah. be pretty key to kind of scout things. So if he um, if he it's stuck on a dragon move we could go togekiss or celesteela uh if it's stuck in a electric move we can go to needle queen and kind of just uh look around there and see what we want to do um and the speed on needle queen is it could be pretty key too because we have enough speed to outspeed a modest or an adamant um aegislash which is going to be pretty important yeah. to be able to do a lot of damage with that earthquake um and and pretty much yeah just be a wall for draco's though put up rocks and hopefully speed creep the Aegislash slash to kill it that's gonna be pretty nice anything else ricky yeah. Uh, not really like you said a uh, draco salt if it's scarfed with bolt beak it can actually like if needle queen goes down it's going to be a massive problem so yeah. we have yeah. to make sure that we preserve needle queen and we don't let it take unnecessary damage just so that if he does bring draco salt we're not like sort of doomed from from the moment that that thing comes in because bolt beak is a pretty strong move yeah with hustle it's it's pretty scary yeah. <laughs> not fun not yeah fun. No, no but at least they can miss so hopefully we can have that <laughs> yeah right <laughs> All right, guys, so that, that is the team. I hope you do uh, like the team. Again, like always, um, if you guys do want to let us know anything about the team that you might change or things you do like, just uh, go ahead and speak in the comments. Always nice to read your comments. Uh, Ricky's always there also, so um, we're, you know, we're both always going to be doing something there. Um, but yeah, that's the team. Uh, we're going to go into the battle, so we're going to skip to that, and we'll see you there. All right, guys, we are here. We are back, um, and yeah, me and Ricky were just talking about the team, and it's looking, looking a tad bit different, pretty much what we thought they were going to bring. How are you feeling, Ricky? Yeah, yeah. Outside of the Arctovich, which I was not expecting, I'll be honest, yeah, I somewhat either. completely neglected it during <laughs> uh, build. Outside of Arctovish, um, it's pretty much what we expected. We knew he had yeah. to bring Comfy because of Fifu. Golbat was also likely to come. I'm just happy we don't see a Draco Soul or Porygon yeah. because this or means that Porygon, yeah. Porygon is actually like free to do a lot of different yeah. things now. Yeah, like we, definitely. like he has one Thunder Wave immunity, which is Mammoth Spine, so we can like spread that Yellow Magic and. Yeah. Um, and we will be fine. Um, so are we going to stick with our plan of leading of, off with the Ace Ball? Of, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm clicking. All right, all right, let's do that. Oh, go back. All right, he leads off with Funny Man Bat. I mean, that's still fine yeah, because we, we should... scare him scare him out. So um, we should side shock then, right? Yeah, we just click a move. We just click an attack. Yeah, yeah. I don't know sure. what he want to go for. Like yeah, turn, I don't maybe? know either. Maybe break our sash, but that's I mean, okay. If he goes will... ammo, then it doesn't matter too much. And weaken in this thing yeah. for uh, Celestia's key. So I think we should do it. Side shot. Yeah, yeah. And, and we can get like a good idea of, um, of what set like, it is. What yeah. kind of gold bat we're dealing with here. I don't even have my calcs open. How dare I? How dare I? Yeah, I didn't I didn't <laughs> import the team or anything. Yeah, me I'm neither. Lazy. I'm about to do that right now. <laughs> Just Come on, load up already. So yeah, team's looking. I don't know, like him bringing Golbat and Comfy, I was not expecting. I, we, like, you know, we were talking yeah, the other day, together. we were thinking one or the other. So it's pretty good that he brought both of them. Because then again, yeah. Porygon Z is not here, which is huge, because that thing was going to be annoying. Dracozolt's not here. I, I mean, uh, yeah, Dracozolt's not here. And and Lyrapart's not here either, which could have been a little bit annoying also. So I'm kind of happy. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go into Arctovish. <laughs> but he Mammoth doesn't know, like, there you could be, could be choice like, scarf for all yeah, the yeah, yeah, that's true. Or you can probably go either, so like, smart, Comfy Ricky. would be like a safe play, or yeah, Comfy. Aegis Slash, maybe. Maybe he goes to Aegis Slash just to try to scare us out, like, straight away. Yeah, yeah. Right, let me... Well, let me see how much that did, because that did, a, like, a, did a really a big amount of damage. I don't know if that's physically defensive. defensive. Yeah, yeah, I would say. It has yeah. to be special, defensive. There's Wait. no way <laughs> if you're physical. Because even her Shifu... Yeah, if he's max speed, like, no defense investment, we do maximum 76, okay. so we could have gotten a high roll. I don't know why my, my Azelf doesn't have any moves. <laughs> Your calc is broken, brother. <laughs> That's, That's a broken calc. That's great. Good thing calc. is, if we get rock up, and it's, he's at exactly 25%, so he's going to yeah, die exactly. to the rocks. Out of here, 
Get out of here. I'm about to turn on the timer. Yeah, see, look, so if he was fully physically defensive, we would have done max 52, so he's special. What was he trying to wall, then? Was he trying to wall, like, Togekiss or something? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Because, like, maybe Needle Queen? But we still hit you maybe. with the IG. Yeah, still, still does good, a good chunk. Oh, then he said his teammate went to eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he's saying. Yeah, I'm gonna say, oh snap. <laughs> I actually need to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna leave you to a one to one. <laughs> Ooh, trying to be fair on him. Where, go do your they thing, man. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully I don't click the wrong moves. <laughs> I just, uh, is he, is he, oh, I was gonna say, yeah. You want to vote? Um, uh, what should we go into? Togekiss? I mean, Tolkis has significantly less value now. He yeah, bring since Porygon's Porygon, not so. here. Uh, let me just see if a... Cause, uh, I'm just thinking, what's, what's the possibility of him being... Because the thing is, since he brought Comfy and Golbat, like, he brought his two defoggers. So uh -huh. I don't know if he's like, he doesn't want rocks up. So I don't know if he's telling us that Volcarona is not um, heavy due to boots and is maybe something like um, yeah. Lumberry or, or something along those lines. Yeah. I just want to make sure that with Togekiss against the Volcarona that we can air slash does a decent amount if he, even if he's at like plus one. Yeah. Which it should still do. I think it yeah, should. Yeah, we still yeah. do like 40%. Even we still at do plus like 40%. One? Even if he's at plus one special defense, yeah. Nice. We're work. still doing 39 minimum. So we can just go Togekiss and he won't really be able to do much to us because Fiery Dance is going to like uh, tickle. It's going to do like 30%. <laughs> Tickle. Okay. Tickle me um. Off. So we go Togekiss then. Yep, I'm down. Or let's go Togekiss. I think that's the move. I am down. Right, Ooh, bug Buzz. Bug. That did oh. literally zero. Should it doesn't matter. T Wave. I think T Wave is a great play, yeah, my friend. Yeah, right. Because if he goes Mammal, it's whatever. We just go Vapor. Yeah. yeah, he's not going Mammal. Thunder Wave. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get Thunder Wave. I think Comfy does get like aromatherapy. Yeah. Right, goes Aegis Slash. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Yellow Magic. Let's go. Come on, Yellow Magic. Come in clutch for us. All, All right. right. Um, now. Hmm. What do now we do? Because the thing is, physical Needle Queen should be able to just yeah, come in. Take we this on, right? Yeah. Up, put on yeah. Maybe yeah. special and maybe a little bit more dicey, but. Yeah, definitely. But, I need to fix um, my calcs real quick because. Is it broken? None of the moves or any of them are showing up. But I think it's because the way it was pasted on the dock, maybe? I don't know. This thing is annoying. It did bring Life Orb previously, right? I think that, that's Life something Life Orb Aegis Slash? Yeah, I think they did that once. I'm not before. sure, to be honest. Um, Cause it? Uh, I know Liopard had it, that one game they were playing. I do remember another Mon having I can't. I just can't remember who it was. Well, a Life Orb um, Modest Shadow Ball does like 70% to Needle Queen. 70? So, yeah. And then if he's like for attack, Shadow Sneak doesn't pick us off from there. So we okay. can go into Needle Queen to sort of a scout out a little bit and try to either get rocks up or like force him out. Yeah, yeah. Needle Queen, I think. Good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I think my cock should be okay now. Nope. Alright, he goes for Iron Head. Okay, I think he's physical. Okay, Your cool. Your calculator doesn't work? Nope. <laughs> it's fine, I'll do that. I'll do the calculations, my friend. Okay, cool. Thank you, bro. Alright, you went for Iron Head, so I'm gonna see if that's like... Should we... Fine. Should we Stealth Rock? Yeah. I think right. we should Stealth Rock, because if he's like, yo, yeah. I'm gonna get into Golbat and defog them away before they get in, we just taunt him. Yeah, and yeah, then exactly. And then go into something. Yeah, exactly. Would this thing be faster so, though? No, right? Nah, we have so, so taunt, much right? speed. Yeah, we have a lot of speed. So taunt? Yeah. Unless oh, he, yeah, it was he's faster. All right, but now the good we thing can like, rock again. <laughs> yeah, we stealth rock again. Like Super Fang, don't matter. Yep. All and right. now we can go into... Hmm. You know what my favorite part is? What? Celesteel Ashley just, just wins. Right here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No lie. Nah, I don't know about doing it right here, though. No, if it sets up, yeah, because he has Super Fang, which is annoying. I forgot. Yeah, I just exactly. Like, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
What should we go? You think he's gonna U turn out maybe? I, I think he's probably he probably is going to U turn because he wants to try to get out. I don't I know. Kind of want to keep of... Nido Queen. Yeah, right? I think we even if it's just like a pivot or something, I think we should definitely yeah. keep it. Should we go um, um, Azelf maybe? His last move is gonna be Roost. Yeah, for sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Should we go Azelf? You think or not? Because who else will we go? We're not going to go our Shifu. Right? I think our Shifu comes in when something dies and kills something. Kills something after that. Yeah, I don't know. What are you thinking? I, I just, just kind of like the idea of not taking any more damage on Azel just so that we don't die like a Shadow Sneak or like an Ice Shard or, or something like that. So should we go our Shifu? Or no? You can if he goes for Super is... Fang... Even if he goes for U-turn, he probably brings in Comfy, and we, we have to switch out from there, so... Yeah. And I want to keep Togekiss healthy for Volcarona. I mean, now that he, now that we've seen he's physically, especially defensive... Like, Poison Jab is probably going to two-shot him, right? You think so? Yeah, Poison Jab just 15%. Like, 13 15? to 15. 13 to 15, so if we get, like, two low rolls, we still kill him. How so... many turns of taunt does he have? We taunted him once. Oh, it's five turns, right? Isn't it three turns? Is it five? I don't, Is know. It three turns? I don't I'm not sure. Hmm. I either say we poison jab or go to Shifu because I don't see anything else we can go into. Because we need Do you think he super fangs again or U turn? I think he probably super fangs again. Like I think he's like Maybe. giving up. Yeah. Maybe. Um I say Damn it, dude. I don't know. I'm thinking Urshifu, or we stay I, in. I think... Oh, let's just go Urshifu. I think I think okay. going Urshifu is fine. I swear if he brave birds... Ooh, right. nice. <laughs> um, right. Should right. we Wicked Blow and see how defensive that Comfy is? If he yeah. switches? Like, probably gonna stay in, but yeah. Click it. Yeah, we're... If he switches, that'd be a bad move. <laughs> Yeah, that's giving us free damage on oh, something. Oh, there we go. Oh, he does switch in. So with rocks, it probably two hit. Oh, yeah, let's go. A two hit trio. A lot of thinking. <laughs> he said, "Are you still there?" Yeah, my bad. We are thinking a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, forty-seven. That killed. Um, obviously, we can't stay in. Yeah. Um, training kiss, and I'm gonna yeah. die to. So. Sh <laughs> um. <laughs> nice yeah, smooch. <laughs> smooch. <laughs> uh, we can either go Needle Queen again, yeah, or we can go sell it. Um, I think maybe we just go. I mean, he might defog again, um, but maybe we just go. I think Needle Queen is fine because Aegis Slash being paralyzed is not like, I guess, the worst thing ever. The thing is, like, I don't. I I want to see how much because I call me crazy, but I'm trying to set up with Celestia. Where we can, win. that's true. We can do it right here. This thing doesn't Rock learn slime. anything. Heavy slam does like fifty percent to like Arctivish. Do you want to get a little bit more damage before we pull the trigger? Fifty percent. Yeah, we might need damage on that. All right, let's just. How about go... plus one though? That's not plus one, right? Yeah, no, that's not, that's not plus one. No, plus one does seventy six. Seventy six. I think we get a little bit more damage. Yeah, I mean, after rocks with a plus one, it would kill though, right? Yeah. I mean. We can. Ah, uh, I'm kind of tempted. <laughs> but do we want to be? Do we want to be like that? <laughs> do we want to be the dude that rushes or, it? Or would we rather be patient? Yeah, I think I think we'll wait a little yeah. bit more. So Nido Queen. The thing is, like, yeah, Comfy is the perfect thing to set up on though. So if we yeah. can like try not to kill it. Yeah. Um. Poison jab. He's gonna be able to get his rocks away with Golbet though. So. Yeah, Do we... so Poison Jab, right? Yeah. Oh, well, Golbat's gonna die. Like... Yeah, exactly. Golbat's gonna die. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If he yeah, lets go of this thing, I know we want to set Shifu. up on this thing with Celesteela, but if he lets go of this thing, then, then our Shifu just it's wins. It's the only time. thing we can set up on. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, we can still set up on Mammo. Physical, yeah, we have a lot of things. Like, because of the Akka Berry we set up on Volk, yeah. we're good. All right, I think we can Poison Jab. Yeah, and um, what's it called? Um... And if this thing's gone, bro, or Shifu just... Or Shifu I mean, it already killed everything, because literally it it didn't yeah. heal up, so the next one would have killed. This time it's not, like, 
everybody has like a pivot and you can force us out next time it's just like all right choose your sacking yeah exactly so at any time aegis slash gets yeah. a kill we pretty much get a kill <laughs> oh yeah it's perfect right. that's exactly what we a needed lot of damage. The, oh no we can't get poisoned i forgot <laughs> yeah, yeah um what do you think we should do here ricky vaporeon or nah he'll probably click freeze dry uh... maybe so, uh, yeah, potentially. Um, so if he's like, well, how much does that? We do? did three. Yeah, I th think he's like no in investment or anything like that. Uh, what is no this investment. Called? Do we need needle queen now that we have like rocks up? Not really. We absolutely need it. I think it's definitely like our most expendable expendable mon, right? It's crazy though. Like Arctivish freeze dry does thirty max to Vaporeon. The only <laughs> thing is that we can't really do anything yeah you're right let's kill do this thing. That's, that's the only problem i mean we can wish and then pass wishes around but i don't know yeah. if we'll, how much we'll to play yeah. around with that let's just click poison we can just think yeah, oh go for the kill. Right? this thing's weak we live in. yeah we live in baby and then we maybe we can boy. set up with celestila after this yeah after he kills us yeah, i think we can if he scarfed like that's gonna do let me see how much that did to needle queen that did, that did four, nothing 30 39. yeah so he's probably like minus special attack yeah because he's physical yeah I think and, he's, so. and he has to be scarfed yeah. right because we have 20 unless he's uh like like boosting speed nature he's either choice band or or choice scarf but i think choice scarf because this thing doesn't do anything otherwise yeah otherwise so we can go celestila Autonomize and, and then win. And just try to win from there. Just try. Mammal dies from a heavy slam. Let's see. I think it depends on the set, especially if we're plus one. It should kill. But either way, but it can't kill us, so it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. So adamant choice banded ice cold crash does seventy maximum to Celesteela, and All if right. we're at plus one, we kill it guaranteed. Word. Okay. So Celesteela. I just do it. I'm getting impatient. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Autotomize. Autotomize. Ooh, perfect. Um, nice. Now do we... Wanna... Nah, yeah. Do we need right? to? Heavy Volcarona's slime. definitely not scarfed. Yeah, no, the Volcarona's not scarfed. Either way, it doesn't matter, because we can. We have the Aqua Bear. All right, Heavy Slam, right? Exactly. Yeah. Bam, baby. All right, Celesteela, come on. This is going to be it. This is, this is it, bro. Celesteela wins. This is it. Wait, does Aegis Slash die? Fuck, I forgot about Aegis Slash. <laughs> Aegis Slash is paralyzed. I want you to know he's going to be paralyzed. <laughs> there it goes. I mean, we have no choice but to click Earthquake, right? Yeah, we click Earthquake. So, 1 million percent of the time, anyway. So, Get it's not like there's a lot of things. I hope he Shadow Sneaks. <laughs> That'll nah, be the worst play gonna, possible. King Shield, but <laughs> King Shield only works if we make contact, right? Yeah. Did they change King yeah. Shield? No, I think it only works if we make contact. Earthquake is definitely not making contact, so. Nah. We Even are if golden. Rock slide don't. Earthquake better not. Yeah. And <laughs> nah, no way. We're making the ground shake. We're not like. Yeah. We're not slapping him with no. the ground. That'd be dope, though. <laughs> slapping him with the ground. <laughs> How do you even do that? You cut it. You cut a slab. I don't know. <laughs> you cut a little slab Yo, off. I, I was young and I watched anime. <laughs> Like seismic toss just looked like the baddest. Like it was just yeah. so cool. Like it's a yeah. cool looking yeah. move. And then the game it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's just like they pick them up and then yeah, exactly. gently lay them back down. <laughs> game. I remember good. Charizard just destroying everything with seismic toss. Yeah, the fucking Charizard. <laughs> seismic toss Charizard. What's I've um? What's your favorite starter? Of all of them, of all time. Yeah. Uh, Probably Turtwig. Turtwig? Nice. I have a plushie of Turtwig. <laughs> oh, Turtwig still. Yeah. Or like Groupie is like really cute Groupie. as well. Groupie? Which one is that again? Groupie? Uh, Grookie. It's oh, the Grookie. It's the Thwacky. Gren... Oh, yeah. Thwacky. Gen... Okay. Gen 8, yeah. I've yeah, always gone for the grass cool. starters. Like, always. That's wild. I, I, like, I just like to be that like edgy Cynthia kid, Quill. like everybody goes, everybody goes water and fire, I'm just that edgy kid that goes grass like, every <laughs> single time. Ball I thought of Chikorita, because that sucks. <laughs> I like Meganium. Eh. <laughs> I always like Chikorita. 
I think it's because I really like that generation a lot. I really like the, sec uh, the second gen. Yeah, uh, Sintoko is my favorite starter. I, I didn't play Gen 2 originally. I only played it when they made when they did the remakes. Yeah. So I never had like that soft spot with Gen 2. My soft spot is Gen 4. Like yeah, yeah. Gen 4 is like my baby. So they better not cuck up these Diamond and Pearl remakes, <laughs> which are definitely coming out. Weird, probably. All right, buddy. I don't, I don't feel you know. I may have to chop a chop on this part. I'm not. <laughs> Ooh, that did uh, so much, bro. That's that oh. nothing. Word, perfect. Earthquake again, right? Shadow think is gonna kill us. Yeah. Okay. That's not gonna do Maybe anything. Earthquake here. Yeah. And can you get paralyzed? What do you mean? Uh, he, I thought he, uh, like, I'm like, can he get paralyzed? Oh. Like, we paralyze you for, like, you know, like <laughs> get paralyzed. It's all right. It's all right, man. No hacks. No, no hacks. It's even better. A ice better feel. Yeah. Uh, Adam we win now. Ice shard. If he's Adam at Bandit on Mammoth Swine and he has Ice Shard, we don't oh, he's win. He's heavy duty boots. But he, oh, so he's heavy there's duty boots. no way. I'm clicking there's heavy no time anyway, so that's all we can click. Yeah, oh, that's all out of here, selling so. steel. Let's go, baby. That's GG. Jeez, I thought he was fucking like, G, I thought he was baby. Like, like, draining kiss, and uh, that could have. Yeah, could've he should have draining, draining kiss, then yeah, possibly ice fine. charge. Maybe not. Yeah, ice charge. You're dead. But Berry, Berry. Sell steel, you beast. <laughs> yes, man. Oh, that thing died. <laughs> we, we wanna risk. It did die. Do we even want to risk Rock Slide? Because I think Earthquake kills, right? Helk. Oh my God. What are we? Plus three? Plus three or three times, I guess. Plus three. Yeah, so that's plus four. Oh, plus four. That's yeah. What I meant. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah, Earthquake should kill even if he's max HP. Plus four, are you sure? Am I sure of what? If it kills? Yeah. Alright, mommy ain't raise no bitch. Oh, rock, rock slide. Get it. Oh, oh GG. No. Like, I knew Celestia yeah, was. Celestia, bro. <laughs> it was, what? It killed everything, oh, right? I think it. Nah, right. Uh, yeah. Combat died to rocks. Oh, true. So, like, the kill is oh, for Needle. Five push. kills for Celestia. Let's go, uh, baby. I knew Celestia had so much. <laughs> so, just yeah. do this basic team. Like, once we started it going, <laughs> like, there was no coming back. Yeah, for sure. No, I mean, like. Oh, we were on. we were a little impatient at first, but we were like, nah, nah, let's get that damage on Arctivish. And when he brought it in against yeah. Needle Queen, that's when it was like, all right, no matter what, we have to fucking <laughs> go into Celestila. We have to go for it, yeah. Damn, oh yeah. man, I'm so hyped Celestila putting in yeah, the work right. today. <laughs> first, week, first week we don't bring Subseed is when it puts in work. Yeah, exactly. This is what happens when... This is what happens to Celestia. This this is why Celestia is annoying. You think it's gonna be bulky. You don't think it's gonna be like Beast Boost yeah. attack, and yeah. then it, it does this, and you're kind of like fuck. <laughs> the best part is Celestia killed Aegis last. We originally wanted Aegis last, but Celestia's like, nah, you did the right. Yeah, thing. right. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. We took Celestia because uh, they took yeah. Aegis last. Oof, it's Take like that nah. random Pokemon. It's like, nah, you want you want you want an Aegis last? You just saw what I did. Five kills, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Would have yeah. been six if it wasn't for rocks. Rocks. <laughs> yeah. I'm sad that Shifu only clicked one move and didn't get any kill, but like. Dude, I feel like our Shifu never comes in the game. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like every like other things on our team just win and have been wrecking. Yeah. No, but it's yeah. really good because it, it it puts pressure. Yeah, but again, as, like as, as uh -huh. we saw, like Comfy did not take two. Yeah. Like exactly. you could drain drain kiss us, but once Comfy went down, it was just like for Shifu. It was show done. Instead, yeah. But for sure. Uh, that's oh. that's lit. That's it. So yeah, guys, uh, week three, we get another W again. Uh, week one, we lost. Week two, we did really well. And now we, we get another thing. Last week, we got a 5-0 also. So that's two 5-0s in a row. Pretty nice. Yeah. Celestia pulling in the clutch. Autonomized sweep. Um, and yeah, guys, If again, like I hope you guys really did like this set. This set was really nice. Uh, Ricky's the one who really like brought it up. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. This shit looks nice. Yeah. Um, and now I got five kills. So couldn't be happier with it. But um, guys, make sure... If anything, you drop a like for Celestia, cause come on, like that shit was that shit was wild. But but yeah, week week three week three done. How do you feel about this one, real quick, uh, Ricky? I think this was definitely our, our best like display and prep 
yet. Yeah. I feel like yeah. last week, yeah, we were dominant, but I feel like prep was a little bit dicey. But this week, I think we nailed it. I think we absolutely yeah. nailed it. Yeah, for sure. I think we, we were spot on. Celestia did the work and we got the outcome from it. So, um, yeah, that's that's uh, that's three weeks. We are two and one now looking pretty solid. Um, and uh, yeah, next week is going to be a, a good one. Hopefully we can um, keep the streak going. But yeah, loving the team. Uh, I can't wait for the next week, guys. But thanks, thanks again for showing all the love. Keep supporting the channel. And me and Ricky will be here uh, next week with week four. So I'll see you all next time. Yep. Peace. Peace.